European countries, especially those in Western Europe, are very popular among tourists. However, today we want to explore a country with historic cities, breathtaking nature, and delicious, diverse foods that have been overlooked by many tourists. This country, with its cities and legendary castles, has been the setting for many films, and even hearing the names of these cities can be thrilling. Here is Romania, a country in southeastern Europe and one of the most beautiful countries in the Balkans. It is bordered to the north by Ukraine, to the northeast by Moldova, to the south by Bulgaria, to the southwest by Serbia, and to the west by Hungary. This country, in the Black Sea region, covers an area of 238,000 square kilometers. The flag of this country consists of red, yellow, and blue colors, which closely resemble the flags of Moldova and Andorra. Interestingly, the flag of this country is identical to the flag of Chad in Africa, with no differences at all. Nearly 20 million people live in Romania, with Romanians making up 90% of the population. Hungarians, at 6%, and Roma, at 3%, are other minority groups. The official language of the country is Romanian. Like Italian, Spanish, and French, Romanian has Latin roots brought to this land by the Roman Empire and is the only language that managed to preserve itself despite being surrounded by Slavic languages. Romania is a secular country without an official religion, but around 87% of the population are Orthodox Christians. In fact, Romania is one of the most religious countries in Europe, so it's no surprise that there are numerous churches and monasteries scattered throughout the country, many of which date back several centuries. The capital of Romania is Bucharest. Bucharest, the political, economic, and cultural capital of Romania, is one of the largest cities in Europe, with a population of 1.8 million. In Bucharest, you can see both ancient, centuries-old buildings and modern, magnificent structures. Like most old cities around the world, Bucharest has a historic area where the city began to grow and expand. The old town of Bucharest is the oldest settlement in the city, with buildings dating back to the 15th and 16th centuries. Restaurants, cafes, and theaters alongside beautiful cobblestone paths are just some of the attractions of this historic area. The city also has vibrant nightlife, places are often crowded, and in many spots, beautiful girls try to attract customers with their dances. Romanians are very friendly and easily communicate with strangers. Although their language is Romanian, if you know English, you won't have any problems, at least in the major cities and tourist spots. Additionally, the city is adorned with numerous water fountains. Most of the buildings constructed in the late 18th and 19th centuries in this area were designed by French architects, which is perhaps why Bucharest is sometimes called Little Paris. It's also interesting to know that a second version of Paris Champelicis and Arc de Triomphe is located in Bucharest, Romania. This monument was built in 1936 to commemorate the establishment of the country and Romania's participation in World War II. During World War II, Romania allied with Germany and fought against the Soviet Union, advancing as far as southern Ukraine. However, Romania was defeated in the Battle of Stalingrad. Following this, in 1944, the Red Army entered Romania, and the occupation continued until 1958. During this time, the Soviet Union intervened in Romania's affairs and succeeded in establishing a communist government. In 1989, the communist dictator Nicolae Ceausescu was overthrown following a popular uprising, and with the fall of the Iron Curtain, Romania began its transition towards democracy and a free market economy. Today, the Republic of Romania has a multi-party system, with power divided between the president and the prime minister. Romania joined NATO in 2004 and became a member of the European Union in 2007. Even though this country is part of the European Union, it still uses its own currency, called the Lu, alongside the Euro. Romania's economy primarily relies on agriculture, livestock, textiles, and services. Many local companies are involved in the extraction of oil, gas, gold, and other natural resources. The minimum wage in this country is around $670, and to have a comfortable life, approximately $1,000 per month is needed. However, even this minimum wage is subject to taxation, 
meaning that those engaged in simple jobs have earnings within this range, making Romania a country with a cheap labor force. As a result, large companies have relocated their factories to Romania to export to Europe. Young people in Romania take advantage of the European Union membership and migrate to countries with better economic opportunities. Romania, historically known as Dacia, wasn't a unified country until the early 20th century and was composed of three regions that eventually united to form Romania. The first region is the low-lying and lush Danube area in the south and southeast of the country. This is essentially the Danube Plain, which, after the Volga Plain, is the largest plain in Europe. This stunning and beautiful region is home to unique plant and animal species, and Bucharest, the capital of Romania, is also located in this area. The second region is Moldavia, which is near the country of Moldova and shares a similar culture and language with it. The third region is Transylvania, which is mountainous and encompasses the central and western parts of Romania. This region is the most beautiful part of Romania, and most of its cities were built by the Saxons, or Germans, who came here 800 years ago and have retained their medieval form. Almost all of Romania's famous castles and palaces are located in this region. One of the most visited attractions in Romania is Bran Castle, also known as Dracula's Castle. Dracula was a real and significant figure in Romanian history, with numerous films and stories made about his life. The town of Bran was historically located on the border between the Hungarian Empire and the Ottoman Empire. In the 15th century, Dracula's father was a member of the Hungarian Royal Guard, known as the Order of the Dragon. When his father entered Transylvania with the dragon emblem, the locals, who had never seen a dragon, gave him the nickname Dracul, meaning devil. Years later, the Ottomans conquered the region and retained Dracula's father as a ruler, but took Dracula to the Ottoman land as a hostage. After his father's death, the Ottomans appointed Dracula as the new ruler. Dracula soon broke away from Ottoman control, and the first 2,000-strong Ottoman army sent to punish him was defeated and impaled along the road from the Ottoman lands on Dracula's orders. An Irish writer later wrote a book called Dracula, which became the source of all the terrifying stories and films about Dracula we know today. However, none of the historical documents confirm that Dracula was a vampire. In connection with Dracula, we can also mention Corvin Castle, another famous and beautiful castle in Romania, where it is said that Dracula was once imprisoned. Besides the castle, the surrounding nature also has unique beauty. The best time to travel to Romania is in the spring when the weather is very pleasant and the tourist season hasn't yet started. Early autumn is also a good time to visit Romania. Summers in Romania can get quite hot, and since it is the peak tourist season, everywhere is crowded with tourists. In my opinion, summer is only suitable for swimming at the Black Sea beaches. Generally, most tourists visit this country to see its beautiful and flawless architecture and because of the low travel expenses. Romania means colorful cities, each more beautiful than the other. This country is full of vibrant colors, and the city of Sigasora is the most outstanding among them. With all these colors and beautiful houses, it resembles a storybook. This medieval city has been selected as a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its architectural attractions and historical value. Moreover, this city is also the birthplace of the character Dracula. For visiting these scenic areas, the best means of transportation in Romania is the train, which connects everywhere. However, most trains are old and slow. Romania's 22,000 km railway network is the 15th largest in the world, even though Romania ranks 81st in the world in terms of area. Most of Romania's historic and scenic cities have a small old town center where walking is the best way to see them. For longer distances, there are buses and trams in all Romanian cities. Among Romanian cities, only Bucharest has a metro system. In addition to the scenic areas, the food in this country is also one of its major tourist attractions because it aligns with the tastes of many tourists who enjoy eating it. However, many traditional dishes of this country can also be found in other Balkan countries. In summary, if you have the opportunity to travel to Romania, don't miss it. Romania is the most beautiful country in the Balkan region and definitely worth visiting.
Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.